What's up guys, this is Blash from Racing Brick. LEGO unveiled today the latest iconic vehicle in the series that we used to call Creator Expert. This is the 10295 Porsche 911 Turbo and 911 Targa. Join me and I will show you all the details about this fine piece of German and Danish engineering. Let's try to clarify the product family first. LEGO released a lot of sets in the past years with the Creator Expert branding, including several classic and iconic vehicles. The last of them was the 10271 Fiat 500 set, that one had a really nice colorful box and you can see the Creator Expert badge on it. The next one in the row was the 10274 Ghostbusters Act 1 set and it was already released with the refreshed 18 plus adult oriented design with a black background and the colored stripe at the bottom. The sets with the new design are still listed under the Creator Expert theme on lego.com, but I guess they will be rebranded sooner or later. The Porsche 911 also received a serious box design with the black background, the brick built stripe at the bottom is grey this time. I'm sure there are a lot of Porsche fans who love this vehicle choice and can't wait to get this set, but I've heard other voices as well like yet another LEGO Porsche. Well, to be honest, LEGO had quite a few Porsche releases in the past. We had two Technic sets, even more Speed Champions ones, so now here's one again. I have to say that I totally understand and support the decision. Since this Creator Expert series seem to focus on vehicles in the past few years that are truly iconic for one reason or another. We have to admit that if we are talking about iconic cars, the Porsche 911 will appear on the top of the list for most of us, regardless if we are a fan of the brand or not. Honestly, if I wanted to raise a question about the decision, I would rather ask about the color. Why is it white again? Porsche had so many vibrant colors on their palette for the classic 911, it's a bit shame to see it in white again. LEGO will publish shortly a video with the designer of the set and the guests from Porsche. I hope in that we will get some background information about the color choice, since I had the chance to send some questions to them. I will link the video in the top right corner once it goes live. Now let's go back to the box. We can see an old school 911 badge along with the Porsche and LEGO logos besides the car. This is the turbo version of the 911 and there's another one. The big feature of this set is the possibility to build two different editions of the 911. Here is the Targa edition on the back without the roof and with a slightly different body. There are some details here about the two versions, I will talk about them in a minute. The dimensions are also visible, the car is 35cm long, 10cm high and 16cm wide. This makes it very similar to the Ford Mustang, that one is just a little bit longer and wider. I know you want to know the important numbers, the set has 1458 pieces, the price is roughly $150, 130 euros or 120 pounds and it will be available for VIP members from the 16th of February on lego.com. From the 1st of March the set will be on sale in lego retail stores and on lego.com as well. Now let's take a closer look at the two variants on these photos. One of the first things to realize, there are two sets of rims. The Targa version seems to have the same rims as the Ford Mustang but the Turbo has them in black, a very nice and useful new color for this piece. Besides that, the two models have some key differences, like the wider body at the rear axle of the Turbo or the iconic VLTL. The Targa edition has the removable roof and the Targa bar. On this pair of photos you can see how wide is the Turbo's rear and we can get a better view of the VLTL or the Targa bar with the authentic plastic rear window. The NG bay is also different in the two models, both of them replicating the original setup with some fine details. As a nice extra for the Targa, the roof can be stored underneath the hood of the car. The interior is very nice and detailed as well. There are two plus two sports seats and the detailed dashboard finished in dark orange and nougat. Further interior details include a handbrake, gear shift and functional steering, while the front seats also tilt forward for access to the rear bench seats. LEGO really wants to make this really special, so they will offer the first buyers the chance to receive a limited edition LEGO Porsche owner's pack with their purchase. The pack contains a certificate of ownership, an official LEGO Porsche card wallet and a set of four unique art prints based on contemporary Porsche 911 ads. These gifts with purchase will be available in limited numbers for VIP members, more details will be available at LEGO.com. Please let me know your thoughts about the set in the comments. What is your first impression based on the photos we got so far? Remember, the date is the 16th of February for LEGO VIP members. I really can't wait to get this set and show you all the details of the build, so please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, 
and don't forget to subscribe and tap on the notification bell if you don't want to miss my detailed building review of the Porsche 911. See you next time, bye bye.